Hey guys, this is KSP with Tate, and today you join me for um, a rescaled solar system thing. Oh no, it's real solar system, isn't it? Yeah. Um, basically, there's been some updates, I'm not sure how recently, but they're constantly updating it, and it has just gotten seriously awesome. Um, you join me kind of in the uh, tracking center, because then I can show you most of the things that have changed, but I will be doing some stuff with ships in a bit. Um, one of the cool changes is now that there are multiple launch sites, so you can launch in most of the big sites across the planet, such as Bacon Earth. Okay, that's not actually where Bacon Earth is, I have no idea. There it is. Um, and like uh, Cape Canaveral, Vandenberg. And now instead of just having a list to random cl randomly click through, you can see exactly where they are on the globe. So it just makes it easier to pick a place to launch from. What the hell? That's in the ocean. Um, yeah, so I thought that's really cool. I think the text, well, all the textures have been updated. The main thing is that now um, stock with the um, with real solar system is that there are really nice textures for all the planets. All the planets have been rescaled, moved around. It looks awesome. I believe these are new textures. Just looking at Africa looks freaking amazing. There's Britain, my homeland. Um, bit of a bit of ice cappage. It all just looks very nice. I'm running at the second best uh, textures because um, there are three options. Um, I am running at the second best because I would run at the best textures, but that doesn't work for some reason. It doesn't really, it just completely breaks everything. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really nice, but this isn't what we want to see. I'm going to go through all the planets because they all have textures and ooh, um, I'll just cut this out real quick, but I want to bring up the page about what each planet corresponds to. Um, uh, Remember to cut this out, future me. If I don't cut this out, I'm incredibly sorry. Blame editing me. He's not very smart. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. Right, back to this. Um, moon. Let's go to the moon. Obviously, the moon represents the moon. Um, it looks like the moon. It's, like, freaking awesome. It looks like the real moon and is the size of the real moon. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's... Obviously, Minmus has moved to be something else, as you will see later. Right, all the asteroids still in pretty low orbits around the sun. They haven't been redone yet. Hopefully there will be. It would be nice to have a big asteroid belt between um, here and Jewel, I think, is where it is. Um, or, well, Jupiter. Moho is obviously Mercury. It has got a nice Mercury texture. It looks freaking amazing. It's very inclined. It's small. It's near the sun. Not as near as Moho is, but still. Um, it's where Mercury actually is. It looks amazing. Um, Mercury not actually tidally locked. It rotates slowly. I think it... Um, a, a day takes twice as long as a year for Mercury, but still, it looks amazing. You can see all these textures. Um, there's lots of crater scatter. You can see how amazing these craters look. I'm not sure how good the surface looks yet because um, I haven't landed on it, but um, I will be landing on some of the surfaces just to give you an idea. I know Mars doesn't look amazing when you actually get to the surface. I assume that's true for all of them because it's still very much a work in progress. Eve or Venus looks absolutely amazing. Look at this. Um, big lavery. Well, I believe it's lava. There's a, um, a big lavery, magmary uh, surface, very hot. Um, around, it's the hottest planet in the solar system, around 400 and something degrees in most places. Obviously, lots of acid rain. It has an atmosphere, which you can't. Well, it would all be atmosphere, really, because um, I'm not sure. I haven't been here. I might check it out, out the atmosphere. I want to be doing more videos on this, and I will talk about that a little bit more in a second. Um, yeah, this. Just looks amazing. You can see all the patches. It they're so detailed. Um, when you get up close, it loses a bit of texture. But if you put it on the very highest res and get it to work, it might look amazing. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I because I've had too many problems with that. But uh, yeah, you, as you have to download them separately and put them in. But they are on the page and they are supported properly by the mod. Um, Duna. Um, or Mars, has obviously the Mars texture, looks amazing, has little ice caps like real Mars. It's not so red, it's more of an orangey, sandy colour, there's lots of black bits and kind of... Um, I have looked at the surface of Mars from a, like a 3.2 gigapixel, 3.7 gigapixel image and it doesn't look exactly right, but it does look very nice. Um, I think the cratering looks very cool, it's not quite as good when you get down to the surface, but um, I will take a look at that in this video, I think. Um, it's moon. Uh, Bop, I believe, represents Deimos, which is a very small, weirdly shaped moon. Lots of very cool craters, you can see. It's got a lot of nice texturing, big mountains, huge craters there. Um, interesting fact about Deimos is, in 40 million years, it will crash into the surface of Mars, so don't go there if you're just planning to live there forever. Um, we move on to Phobos, which is Mars's other moon, represented by Gilly. Gilly now has a very nice texture, and this weird, odd little sticky up bit, as you can see here, 
Um, I don't know if that's true to uh, Fobo, so I'd have to look it up, but it looks freaking amazing. I am right about that. Yeah, of course I'm right. Um, anyway, moving on from Mars. Obviously, we now move to Jupiter. I hope I'm right. Oh, that's incredibly embarrassing. Um, yeah, Joule obviously represents Jupiter, and Jupiter has about 64 moons. We only have, I believe, five. Oh, no, it looks like four. Oh, well, we only have four moons, which is kind of sucky, but there aren't enough planets, aren't enough bodies to do that in um, a realistic manner, which isn't fantastic, but um, it does look amazing. This looks just beautiful. Storms look amazing. Um, I imagine in the high res they'll look even better, but even in half res it is freaking awesome. And you can see the big famous star storm there, which is actually getting smaller. Um, out here we've got Pol. Pol represents, uh, this is where I have to start looking at the page, this represents Io, which is a huge planet, I believe. It's as big as Mercury. Um, uh, not much goes on in it. It's kind of fairly... I don't think it's the volcanic one, but um, I may be wrong. Um, but it is. But this does look amazing. It's a weird colour, very yellowy and orangey and brown. I'd love to land here, take some surface samples. You know, you can see all the black bits. There's lots of craters and mounds. It looks just geologically awesome to play around with. Next out, we have um, Elu. Elu has been moved to be a moon, as it is a dwarf planet. Um, Elu represents Europa, the big famous one. Kind of looks a bit boring. Um, it looks amazing, but it doesn't look like there's a huge amount going on. But Europa is a very big moon. I think it's... I've forgotten the exact size of it, but I think it might even be kind of, like, almost Earth-sized. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, I know there is some, there are some huge moons around Jupiter, and um, I may be wrong about it, but it looks nice. It's white, it's desolate, kind of like Elu. Um, yeah, it's kind of got lots of cool colorings, these weird little scar marks, I want to really check out what they are, but I'm not sure the ground texture is good enough yet, but maybe um, I'll check it out at some point. I won't be going to all planets' surfaces today, maybe a few of them. Tylo now represents Ganymede. Um, not entirely sure I pronounced that right. Uh, before this, I hadn't actually heard of this moon. Um, there are 64, don't make me memorize all of them. Ganymede um, looks kind of like Tylo in my opinion. I think probably a big moon, not entirely sure. Um, but it has got some cool coloration, it's got some interesting, well, there's probably something calcium-y or potassium-y, something kind of like a salt flat up here. Um, lots of cr weird craters that look like um, rocks have smashed apart on them as they came into impact. It looks like a little bit of a low resolution here, not quite as nice as some of the others, but eh, it still looks pretty damn amazing. Um, right, and the final moon of Jupiter for now is Ike. Ike re now represents Callisto. Um, which, again, is kind of a weirdly coloured thing. There's a lot of green in here. I imagine that's not um, actually... Uh, I imagine it's not actually foliage, but um, it is still quite a nice little uh, effect. I'm not sure what that would be. Maybe some kind of granite or something? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not a geologist. Um, but yeah, and it's got a lot of these kind of possibly salt patches um, or maybe just smashed rocks. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm no uh, astrophysicist or whatever it would be that I would make me research these. Um, moving on to Saturn. Saturn, annoyingly right now, um, well, Saturn is represented by Drez, which has been completely changed. Completely uh, nothing like Drez, but um, it doesn't have any rings yet, because I imagine those would be very hard to do, but it does look nice. I think um, it looks a little plain. Um, I think Saturn is less um, kind of smooth than this. I mean, it is, Saturn is fairly smooth, but I think this looks kind of too uniform to be a gas giant. I may be wrong, I mean, Saturn is quite a calm-looking planet, but still, um, maybe I'm just missing the rings. Anyway, there is only one moon of Saturn right now. I think there's five major ones in real life, quite a lot of other ones, represented by Lathe, which kind of makes sense, because Lathe represents, um, oh crap, what is it? It's Titan. Titan has an atmosphere, Titan has some kind of lakes, not water and not oxygen like Lathe. Lathe has water lakes uh, and oceans and an oxygen atmosphere. Titan has, um, I think, methane lakes, methane lakes, um, however you want to pronounce it. And I'm not sure what uh, the composition of the atmosphere is, but it does look very nice. I believe this has an atmosphere, it does look like it, this glow. And it would make sense given that there are evidently liquid on the surface. Um, Titan is a very interesting moon and a lot of people want to research it because it has a lot of very cool things and if you could terraform it somehow maybe you could make it your planet. Um, although I'd be more inclined to move to Triton um, if I'm right there. But anyway that's all in the Saturn system. Um, next out we have um, Minmus. Minmus represents Uranus. 
We seem to be missing Neptune, which is sad, but um, I guess there's just not enough planets and they were like, eh, screw Neptune, which sucks because Neptune's legendary. I have a um, Kerbal X landed there because that's still there from the Minmus mission I did a long time ago. Um, looks very calm. I, it's, I think, I think Uranus, again, is more um, stormy, but I think I may be thinking more of Neptune, which has a lot more storms. And it does have the colour quite right, and you can see there are, oh geez, you can see there are quite a few features here, but it looks fairly calm. And there are some small rings around Uranus, again, and Neptune, but they aren't in yet because it is very hard to do rings. I don't believe there are any moons, and I believe Uranus has some interesting moons. Anyway, moving on to Pluto, the dwarf planet. Smaller than a lot of other dwarf planets, there are a lot of trans-Neptunian objects, although there's ne no Neptune in this, uh, in this scenario, but um, yeah, there's a lot of trans-Neptunian objects uh, which are bigger than Pluto, and they are dwarf planets. So Pluto, people say, oh, Pluto's a planet. No, it's smaller than a lot of other things we don't even classify as planets, so you are wrong about that. I'm sorry if you like Pluto, but just, it's over, man. It's just, you gotta make your peace. But Pluto does look freaking amazing. It's very, it looks obviously not, well, icy. It's very icy, there's a lot of nice, nice kind of rockage. Um, some cool looking stuff. Uh, what well, looks maybe like ice lakes there, you can't really tell brilliantly, but it is a very featured planet. It looks much cooler than Elu, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I would love to come here. Um, maybe like, uh, what mission is flying up to it? It's um, New Horizons. We'll be doing some very close flybys of Pluto. Interesting facts about Pluto. Its biggest moon is about half the size of Pluto, and some scientists believe that it, because it orbits so close to Minmus, uh, to, Min to Pluto, um, it actually might share an atmosphere with Pluto. Freaking crazy. Could be awesome. Um, I don't believe these have been... Well, you can't actually zoom in on these uh, things, but um, oh, on these asteroids, which kind of sucks. Um, but I don't think anything's been done with them. Anyway, I am going to use the magic of Hyperedit to visit a few planets because I kind of lack the um, um, launch vehicles, mainly. <clears throat> Although I did just build um, a realistic Saturn V, so... Actually, no, I have the exact launch vehicles I need. 118-ton um, lifter. Um, looks pretty much like Saturn V using Saturn V engines um, that I downloaded uh, it, because I'm using Realism Overhaul. Um, yeah, let's just take a look at my Saturn V. I just want to show it off. Um, this is a little sidetrack, but this actually is a good idea if you've never seen much about rescaled solar system. This is a gigantic launch vehicle. It is a few meters shorter than Saturn V, but it is the same diameter. Um... Yeah, and it, it's a little weak. But yeah, this is Saturn V. It is almost... The real one is about 100 meters tall. I think this is a little shorter because it doesn't have the upper staging. And these are shorter. Um, that provides about 40,000 kilonewtons of thrust. Um, that Those are five F1 engines. Um, this is 10 meters thick. This is... Yeah, it has a diameter of 10 meters. And this uses... Um, liquid, H, uh, liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, like the space shuttle, so a very big tank. That's why that looks so big in comparison to the lower stage, and this just uses kerosene and liquid oxygen. This is a very cool launch vehicle. I'm not going to launch it today, um, but yeah, this can take 120 tons to low Earth orbit. Um, anyway, I'm going to put something else on the pad, something less cool, but something more explorey because um, hyper-edit. So yeah, maybe I, um, I'm having a lot of problems with unbelievable texture glitching on being SpaceX, so um, I'm thinking if that doesn't keep going, I'm not gonna probably not going to do a series on this because that never goes well, but I might do some um, fairly, um, f f fairly frequent videos on it because I think people seem to like them, they do decent reviews, and I really like it, and I want to fly that Saturn V as much as fucking possible because it took me ages, it's taken me like the last two days. Anyway, okay, so what I had planned was involving this odd looking spacecraft. It didn't used to look odd. I built it with pretty much all stock parts, um, then upgraded all of them to use realism overhaul, which rescales a lot of the parts. So now it just kind of doesn't work so great. And none of the fuels work because liquid fuel and oxidizer isn't a thing in realism overhaul. So I will be visiting planets in future episodes because I have decided I want to do a lot more videos on this, especially because um, being SpaceX has kind of fallen apart. I will try to remedy that, so don't say, don't kind of write it off in your head right now if you do like that series. But it's not looking great because stupid mods breaking fucking... Yeah, that's a good way to explain it. Anyway, um, so yeah, do come back for more episodes. I will probably not be doing a series on this, like I think I've said. Um, probably just frequent videos, maybe, because I really like it. 
and I shouldn't be doing so many KSP series. Anyway, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm sorry we didn't get to go to any planet services, but if you want to go to them, um, the link to Realism Overhaul will be in the description, which has a link to links to all the mods you'll need for Realism Overhaul, including Real Solar System. Um, I do employ you to use Real... Actually, Realism Overhaul is kind of... Just kind of pick and choose the mods to try and give it the best experience for you. It's kind of overwhelming, because it... If you actually install Realism Overhaul, it changes so much stuff, and if you do too many things, it gets very confusing. So if you're not experienced with modding, just do a few of the mods, I don't know, Google Forums. Um, but yeah, I will link that in the description so you can kind of see all the mods that you can use, and it's very helpful. So don't ask me for a mod list, because it's all in the Realism Overhaul thread. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm sorry we didn't go to any other planets. We will be doing that soon. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.